My name is KT, and today we are going to talk about chocolate. There is only one flavor in this world, and that flavor is chocolate. However, what do we mean by chocolate? Chocolate originated in around 2000 BCE, 1500 BC. We really don't know. By the time we get to the archaeological evidence, chocolate's already well established. We're finding residue in pots already by that point. So, we really don't know when people found out about chocolate. We only know that they took to it pretty quickly. It was the Olmecs who found it first and then the Maya, and then the Aztec, and we got it from the Spanish, who got it from the Aztec. It's a long story, and it's a delicious one. Today, we are going to talk about this chocolate, which I have never tried before. You and I are going to try this chocolate for the very first time here. So this is cow chocolate, C-A-O, and this is a 73% Tanzanian chocolate. So Tanzania, it's in Africa, and it's part of the um it's part of the southern tropics chocolate can only grow between the 23rd parallel north and the 23rd parallel south so between the tropics of Camp cancer and capricorn it's probably made of forestero beans which are native to brazil and brought over in the 19th century however this bar doesn't exactly say so i can't tell you for sure let's find out what this thing's like So we open it up, first thing we look at is the gloss. The gloss tells us a little bit about how much cocoa butter it's got in it. So high gloss means usually fairly good tempering and a lot of cocoa butter. What we have, however, is a fairly dull gloss. That might mean that, there, that some of the cocoa butter has separated. Um, could be because of heat, could be because of uh, sugar separating. This is called bloom. And while it's not inedible, it will affect the quality of the bar. So, gloss, um, 18th century Spanish library. The next thing we look at is the color. That gives us an idea of how much cocoa mass is in the bar. So, it's a fairly dark color. Um, not a whole lot of variety to it. I'm going to say Guinness Stout Brown. The next thing we test is the break. The sharper the break, usually the better tempered the bar. Uh, this is a fairly quiet break. Look, there's tiny little air bubbles in there too. Not real hard, kind of whisper soft. Next thing we talk about is fragrance. What's it smell like? It's kind of perfumey. Yeah, very rosy. Um, surprisingly floral. A little bit of tobacco in there, not a whole lot. Just enough for flavor. So, roses and tobaccos. Next thing we check for is mouthfeel. How does it feel when you chew it? A little pasty. Not bad. It goes down okay. There's a little tiny bit of grit in it, but Nothing that would actually, you know, nothing that affects the quality of the bar. And now, the important part, flavor. We have an idea of what chocolate tastes like. It tastes like chocolate. It doesn't taste like vanilla or raspberry or apple or orange, except when it does. So chocolate is a really complex kind of thing. The flavor profile of chocolate is developed from the soil that it grows in, from the temperature, from the kind of bean it is. There's lots of different varietals out there. All of these different qualities make up the flavor of the chocolate. So let's find out. Yeah, there's definitely some floral top notes. And daisies. Middle notes of cherry. 
like a sweet cherry, not a tart cherry. Let's be very clear on that. Not a Montmorency cherry. I'm from Michigan. I know cherry. Roasted marshmallow to finish it off. It's a nice balance of flavor. So it starts out, you know, kind of like that nice flowery, um, which I don't expect in a Tanzanian chocolate, by the way. And then in the middle, we've got cherry. Oh boy, is it cherry. Oh, you really taste the cherry. And at the end, we have, you know, something sweeter, a bit more uh, sugary, a bit more vanilla. And it reminds me very much of campfire marshmallows. My overall impression of cow chocolate, 73% Tanzanian. It's quite passable, actually. Uh, I would like a little bit of conching. I would like to see it smoothed out a bit more, but the beans are well chosen. They're well roasted. Um, and even with the potential for bloom, I'm not really detecting a whole lot of bloom in it. So maybe it's just an ugly bar. Uh, who would I recommend it for? I would recommend it for um, chocolate journey, uh, journeymen, people who are just starting to really get into chocolate. Um, it's not the most complex chocolate, but it's definitely got enough to, to reward you. It's definitely worth the time. You will not embarrass yourself in polite company by serving this chocolate. This is KT, and thank you for joining me for my chocolate review.